Hey guys, it's Frost on Space Cup today. Just going to show you the DVDs I acquired or brought back down with me as one of them I borrowed. Another one was a, off of a long term loan to one of my brothers, and the other was a new acquisition. So, the new acquisition classic of sci fi cinema Forbidden Planet, Leslie Nielsen, uh, who else was in it? Anne Francis, Walter Pigeon. So I watched this up in Sunderland with Scott, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Very interesting, some of the social mores of the time, even though it's set in the future. An all-male crew, and there's a guy wandering around, dressed as a chef. I don't know what he's doing, he's never in his kitchen, and he's always drunk. So let's see what it says. Forbidden Planet is the granddaddy of tomorrow, a pioneering work whose ideas and style would be reverse-engineered into many cinematic voyages to come. Leslie Nielsen plays a commander who brings his, spaceship, his space cruiser crew to planet Altair 4, home to Dr. Morbius, Walter Pigeon, and his daughter, Anne Francis, a dutiful robot named Robbie, and to a mysterious terror. Featuring sets of extraordinary scale and the first all-electronic musical soundscape in film history, Forbidden Planet is in a movie orbit all of its own, and it is a classic. And it still holds up for the most part, I would say. So there you go, that one. Next, watch this, it was Scott, it was hilarious. Uh, Bill Paxton, Ice-T, Ice Cube, and I can never remember the other guy. This one, is it William Sanderson or something like that? I'm just trying to see if it says his name on the back. Mm, da, 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 da. Sadler, it says William Sadler, yes. So, yeah, basically they're hunting for lost treasure in a warehouse and all these gangsters turn up and it turns into a madness. It's good fun. I thoroughly enjoyed that. It's just the back. I'll just read it to you. I'm going to watch this with Mike and Dee. While attending a blaze, two Arkansas firefighters, Don and Vince at Southern Paxton, acquire a map identifying the whereabouts of a hoard of stolen gold hidden years earlier in an abandoned East St. Louis building. Unbeknown to the treasure hunters, the location lies within the territory of a ruthless gang. Led by the notorious King James, Ice T, and his Lieutenant Savon, Ice Cube. While searching for the treasure, Vince witnesses the gang murder of an enemy and inadvertently alerts the gangsters to its presence, leading to a tense standoff. As the gang call in reinforcements, the trespassers must use every means at their disposal if they're to escape the treasure and their lives. It is a good laugh. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. So yes, that's one me, Mike and Dee should be watching. And then finally, my brother Trevor um, dropped this off at my Aunt Eileen's for me to collect. Second season of The Terminator Chronicles, and I completely forgot I'd even lent this out. Thoroughly enjoyed this show. Obviously, that's Summer Glau playing The Terminator with um, uh, Lena Headey as um, Sarah Connor. And I can't remember the kid who played um, John Connor. But I've seen him in a bunch of stuff as well. So that's just... The back there so yes at some point i'll probably get around to watching this again it was very enjoyable i was very sorry that it got cancelled after its second season that was such bad luck with terminator don't they let's hope that dark fate sorts it out and puts the franchise back on an even footing but for now guys those are just the dvds that i've brought back down to sunderland with me uh, sorry back down to london with me please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content Leave me a comment or a suggestion for a common topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.